Hi, Food Chain Primary. My team and I will be showing you uh, and demonstrating how to do the flexibility assessment for and exercises for you guys after your physical activities for your cool down. Let's carry on. Hi, welcome back. So today I'll be showing you the first exercise, which is the groin exercise. First and foremost, we have to take note about our posture when we start this exercise. So before we start with our flexibility exercise, everyone needs to take note that this is a cool down exercise uh, which actually helps after your warm up or after your physical activities because if you were to stretch cold muscles, it will uh, escalate to another injury. So first exercise today we'll be doing a groin exercise. What this targets is actually the groin, some parts of your quads and your hip stability. Okay, I will show you and demonstrate to you how to do this exercise. First and foremost, face your body and make sure your spine is neutral to your head and facing forward. Your toes have to be facing forward also to ensure a neutral spine. So, put your hands on your hip, your two hands on your hip and slowly shift yourself to a comfortable uh, position like a stance. So first and foremost, we are going to do on the right side. So push your weight on the right side like this. So shift uh, as you need to. Ensure you feel a slight, a slight uh, stretch on your groin. This area, feel that stretch. Although your core is still going to feel the pain, but the most importantly is you need to feel the stretch on the groin. If you only feel feeling your stretch on the, you're feeling uh, tense on your quads, it is definitely something wrong. So feel the stretch slowly. While you're at this position, what you have to take note of is make sure your spine is straight, your body facing straight and your eyes facing straight. Do not look down, do not look up, just look straight. And hold here for 20 seconds and slowly move up. And continue this exercise to the left side as well. Hold here for 20 seconds. Make sure your body is facing straight. Then slowly move up. So we'll be doing this for three sets. Uh, we'll be doing this for three sets and it includes 20 seconds of each sets. All right, move on to the next segment. All right, welcome back again. So today uh, I'll be showing you a demonstration for my partner. So let's bring on Nuri. All right. So Nuri, you know how to do the ground exercise, so please show us how do you do it. Like this. Pause. Pause. So, do you guys notice what is wrong with this posture? Stop, I didn't ask you to move. So you can see with this posture, it is bad. It will actually uh, elevate the injuries. So, cut. Okay, get back. So, what you can see, firstly, you need to take note. Okay, Nuri, face straight. Make sure your body is straight and your spine is neutral. Ensure your toes is facing forward. Okay. Alright. After this, we need to make sure your hands is on your hips. So, can you do that? Okay. One neat thing to take note, you do not hold your hands like that. This one what? You want to do diva show? <laughs> so, first, you need to do is uh, put uh, something like that your inner between the thumbs and the index finger. Put it on your hips. Okay, now spread your legs far apart to a certain comfortable length. Okay, now push your left leg, push, put your weight on your left leg. Okay, now feel the stretch between your groin and your hips must be neutral. Okay, stay there. So, this is the perfect example, but not perfect as mine. So, as you can see, uh, Basically, what she is doing is she's facing straight and not facing down. She's not facing up, left or right also. So this is to ensure a neutral spine and ensure that the groin is being stretched properly. However, if you guys feel your quads being uh, tense up more, uh, it's a wrong uh, movement because you're supposed to feel your groin to be stretched uh, more. Okay, so you can see. Okay, now get back to your original shape. Okay, and now push your right leg uh, push your weight on your right leg. Alright, stretch it out slowly. Okay, body straight. Alright, so that's how you guys should do it. 
Thank you, Nuri. Okay, go. Okay, hi. So, uh, continuing on, we'll be doing the posterior shoulder stretch. So, basically, what you're supposed to do is that you're supposed to lift your arm up first, like this, and then after that, put your other arm across. So, what you're doing is just like this. So, you just keep it there for a few seconds. Huh? So, five seconds. Okay, one, two, three. So from this side, it should look like this. You're putting your arm out like that. Okay. And you can do the same for your other arm also. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay, so now I'll be having a demonstration of how to do the posterior shoulder stretch. So I have my okay. demonstrator plan. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Okay, so could you please demonstrate for us how you do the posterior Hi. shoulder Hi. stretch? Hi. Okay, so as you can see, this side is can be improved. So basically what you can do then, you can try to make it a bit tighter into the stretch. Yeah, so uh, how, which, which part of the muscle that this is working on is in the shoulder area here. So you feel it here, right? Yeah, so you can turn around so that the audience can see. Yeah, okay. So for the next exercise that we'll be doing, we'll be doing a calf stretch exercise. We'll be targeting your calf. So I'll be doing the exercise first, and following I'll get a volunteer to help me. So what you want to do first is to put two hands on the wall, and go close to the wall, putting your heel to the ground, and toes pointing up and touching the wall. So if you really feel a stretch here, it means you might be tight. But if you want to feel a further stretch, you can bring your left leg closer to the wall, and bring your hips closer to the wall. And while doing this exercise, you want to look straight and keeping a neutral spine. And you would like to hold this exercise for 10 to 15 seconds. So now, I'll be getting my volunteer to show. So put your two hands on the wall. You to look straight. So as you see from her posture, one thing she could do to further this stretch is she could, she could bring her hips closer to the wall to feel her stretch. But Yes, so this is a good example, so that she can get, she can, uh, she can get a stronger stretch. Okay, moving on to the next instructor. Okay, okay I'm moving on to the upper body. Uh, to, now we're going to do the tricep stretch. So I'll have my volunteer here to demonstrate while I explain. Okay, so first of all, you have to raise your right arm up. Straight, straight up, and then you bend, bend, and then you take your other arm, uh, your other hand, and pull the elbow towards your head. Okay, make sure your your you are facing forward, your eye level straight. Yeah, and then just turn behind. And then this how you look like from the back. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so while doing this, you are actually targeting your tricep, mainly your upper arm of upper part of the uh, tricep. Back, now we're gonna do back to the lower back to the quadriceps. And uh, I have a one here here demonstrate it. First you must uh, hold your leg to the back. Yeah, like so. Okay, yeah, so. That you must usually you stay like this, or you can stylize it anyway, like this. Hold it, and straight here. The best thing you know must be show your neutral position, straight forward. And this actually helps to balance your knee because it builds on the the higher thigh, the upper thigh. That's what this concept do, and that's what we manage to do. Get this side view. You know it. Yeah. Alright, so. From what we have learned today, for children, uh, is that my personal set of instructors have shown you the different type of exercises we can do 
during our cool down after our physical activities. So the first one that we did was uh, the groin exercise. Second is the posterior uh, delts uh, stretch. Third is the quadri the quadriceps exercise. And last but not least is the tricep exercise. Oh, before uh, before I forget, we got one more, which is the calves stretch that we did on the wall. So. Uh, regarding these exercises, it's only advisable for you guys to do it after a set of physical activities because we cannot just stretch, uh, we cannot use static stretching as a part of our daily stretching when it comes to uh, cold muscles. You guys have to warm up first the muscles before we can actually use this exercise. So, any other words from my other instructors? No, Alright, that will be all. Thank you so much. What's that?